Temple Grandin is a person with autism. She has used the gifts of her autism to help animals. She is a real advocate for food animals. Now, we use 10 billion animals for food in the United States every year. Now, Temple Grandin is trying to make life better for these animals, making them less frightened, less crowded. She's understanding what they're feeling. And the reason she can understand what they're feeling is because of her autism. She can actually walk into a pen of cattle and tell you what's bothering them. Why are all those cattle upset? Oh, it's because of this, someone left their shirt hanging on a, on a fence and that's bothering them. Or they won't go into that barn because that one shadow on the ground. Writing a biography is more than just a tally of all the stuff the person did. I wanted to know how she felt. I read everything that Temple Grandin has written. I read many of the things that have been written about her. Um, I saw videos in which she was speaking. Um, her website has a ton of really interesting stuff, including her own drawings of diagrams of different devices and corrals and, and things. I'm using my friendship with her, my observations of her. I'm watching her teach, looking at, at how she interacts with her students. You want to, to bring your reader up close with that person, as if they could be in your skin, as, as if they could be the person interviewing her. What would they want to know? Animals saved Temple Grandin at a time in her life where her unusual brain was making her so nervous. Animals showed her how to be calm. The way you vaccinate a cow is that you put them in the cattle chute and, and hold them still in that while you can give them the vaccination safely. And she would see these nervous cattle go into this device and then she'd see them relax. And she thought, gosh, I wonder if that would help me. I feel so nervous all the time. So she made one of these things for herself. She called it the squeeze machine. And she felt herself relax like she'd never been relaxed before. I've always wanted to write about food animals for kids. They're gonna wanna read this triumphant story about a woman with autism who's world famous and beloved by both the food animal industry and by the Humane Society.